Two men who, as children, were sexually abused by their priests are sharing their unusual approach to healing. Since the Child Victims Act went into effect, 21 lawsuits have been filed against the Roman Catholic Diocese of Syracuse. Andrew Donovan of our sister station WSYR spoke with two survivors, including one from Johnson City, to find out why they have a different attitude. Have you both forgiven your abusers? Yes. Absolutely. Yep, 100%. For Matt Fitzgibbons, it happened in the sacristy of his Syracuse church. So I was an altar server. Near as I can figure was after Saturday evening mass. For Dan Payton, it was on a trip with his priest to SUNY Binghamton. Uh, he pressed me uh, at length uh, to shower with him. Two young Catholics abused by different priests, but who now share remarkable acceptance of the trauma. This was one man, you know. He was just one man. He wasn't the church. He wasn't my faith. And he wasn't going to take that from me. Don't be angry at God. Be angry at the man. You know, don't hate the man hate the sin. Fitzgibbons and Payton hope other survivors will consider their approach to healing instead of the bitterness that resurfaces with every new accusation made in the United States. Adding nothing but finger pointing and threats of litigation and calling on people to leave their God and their faith, uh, it, counterproductive is an understatement and it does. It harms people like me who are trying to come to grips with what we endured. For survivors out there that might not like this approach, what would you say to them? I, I, totally, I totally understand. You know, I have those moments where I feel that anger rise up. If you have the option to live the rest of your life holding on to harm and to sadness and to hate, or you have the option to move out of that to some kind of peace. Maybe it's not forgiveness. Maybe it's not speaking openly about your views. But if you have that option, I would just encourage people to, to take that leap. Um, there's nothing to lose and there's everything to gain. Two men sharing their path to healing, hoping others get to a similar ending. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.